Welcome to a new era in the Urbex Dead Mall series. The Dead Mall series began back in 2018, and ever since then I've been frantically documenting every mall I can make it to. I've documented so many malls now that I can say I'm finally beginning to cover entire metropolitan areas and regions. So I hope you'll enjoy this new series. This is my new series called The Malls Of. Alright, so bear with me for a minute here while I explain this new series. It's not going to be an all the time thing, it's going to be kind of intermittent and random because I need to completely cover a statistical area or a metro area and document all the remaining malls, both dead and dying, as well as thriving, before I can actually put out an episode. I have a few metropolitan areas where I've documented most, if not all, of their malls, and so I can begin to put together this series. In this series, we'll be discussing topics such as, was this metropolitan area overmalled? Why did one mall succeed while the other failed? And so much more. More importantly, we'll try answering the holy grail of questions. Why are malls all across America failing? So I want to spark a conversation. Why do you think certain malls are dying and other ones are thriving? But more importantly, what would keep you going to the mall and coming back? What do you think the malls are doing wrong that they could change? I don't think there's one answer to these questions, or is there any wrong answers? Leave your comments down below, as this will help me with my other rabbit hole journey. I was recently watching Ace's Adventures video on Lakeside Mall in the Detroit area, one of my childhood malls, when I got inspiration for this video and for what I'm about to tell you about. In that video, he mentioned that one of his childhood malls was in danger of being purchased by a really crooked mall owner. He noted that although the mall wasn't doing great, he knew that if this deal went through, the mall would be doomed. He's taken it upon himself to go to local government officials to try and stop this mall purchase. Because it's not only bad for the residents that need a place to shop, but it's also bad for the city, county, and state as they rely on the tax revenue that the mall would bring in. But if it's bought up by some crooked mall owner that just wants to get profit out of it, they won't end up paying the taxes and it's just bad news all the way around for everyone. So this inspired me to stop and think for a moment. What are we doing here? All these dead mall content creators travel around, spend all this money documenting these malls, and it's great in that because they're preserving history, and I salute them for that. However, what are we doing to actually try and save the malls and stop them from being torn down or turned into another stupid Amazon warehouse or something similar to that? We need stuff in the community that, you know, people can shop at and enjoy, not just Work, go home, work, go home, and just keep repeating that cycle over and over. I do still believe that malls have an important role in society, not only for shopping, but for entertainment as well. And I think that mall owners and just corporations and businesses in general have lost touch with the consumer base and just how to do customer service and how to run a business. They're just greedy and grabbing for money. I have to be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing here. This is all a new experience for me, but at least I'll be able to say I tried. And you know, who knows, maybe the right person will see this video and contact me and we'll be able to save some malls, I don't know. But I've often envisioned taking Amazon, and I mean Amazon.com and all of their warehouses, and envisioning them inside of a mall, turning that concept from online shopping back into physical retail with all the amazing new products that people buy already. Just you can physically walk in, look at it, try it on, see if that's the thing you want and buy it and walk out right then and there. And yeah, I know someone will probably steal that idea. And if they do, congratulations, by all means, I don't have the capital in order to do an idea like that anyway. So if there's someone out there that loves that idea and wants to run with it, by all means, go for it. Turn the mall into an Amazon, a physical Amazon. If you want to get access to this series, as well as stay up to date on saving the mall, then head on over to my Patreon, where you can join for as little as $1. There's a link down in the description box below. And also, check out Ace's Adventures videos. They're actually really well done. 
I'll also try and remember to put a link in the description box below to his channel as well. I think that's going to do it for this episode. May this journey be prosperous, and thank you for watching.